with inflation such a big issue. Tell us how you're positioned and what should investors be considering to address inflation? Well, people don't remember inflation, but what, where you want to be in equities, particularly when rates start ticking up, is in companies that have pricing power. In other words, their goods and services are necessities for people, so they're willing to take a small increase in price, sometimes a larger one, as rates go up. And so companies that don't have pricing power end up getting their margins squeezed. So right now, healthcare looks really good, and also consumer cyclicals look very good. Things that people need in times of inflation, what they eat, what they drive. And so that's why you're seeing energy prices going up. At the same time, energy stocks going up because people have to buy energy to move around. What gets hurt are things like high PE speculative stocks and some technologies where all of a sudden you don't have such an accommodative environment where the Fed is being very easy on everybody. And as interest rates go up, PEs go down, prices correct on equities. But even as rates go up, equities are the place to be because fixed income gets hurt a lot more. Yeah, you know, I see your O-shares quality dividend ETF is trading about in line with the markets. You know, you've got Procter & Gamble in here, uh, Johnson & Johnson, you've got Microsoft, you've got Home Depot, Verizon among your biggest holdings. Uh, these are all high quality, high dividend yield. Uh, but is that a good inflation fighting strategy for right now? Yes, because most of them have products and services that people need. That's OUSA. It's basically a subset of the S&P 500. It looks for the highest quality balance sheets, companies that are generating cash, companies that have high return on assets that do distribution. So if you start thinking about what you want to own for the rest of this year, you want a subset of the S&P 500. Just owning the index could be very risky because lower quality balance sheets like the airlines right now may not perform as well as rates go up, because that means their debt servicing goes up as well. You think United Airlines started with $7 billion pre-pandemic. It's over $20 billion in debt now. Not a name I want to own coming out of this. I'd rather own the higher quality names. And the whole idea of OUSA is to temper volatility, looking for names that do better in drawdowns. And we're having volatility now all of a sudden, because people are trying to guess how many hikes there's going to be by the Fed. Is it two? Is it three? Is it four? Is it more? Nobody knows. And as a result, you're starting to see vol. And in names like OUSA, those big, large cap, high quality cash distribution names, as I like to say, cash flow, that's where you want to go, where there's the cash flow. And that's what OUSA has.